Hi Shannon. Hi Haley. How are you? Hi. Are you well? <laughs> Very well, thanks. Yeah, great. Thank so you. we are backstage for Cinderella the Pantomime. I am so excited. Haley started smiling. Can I just smile? <laughs> I'm being horrible. Sorry, camera viewers. I know Haley on a personal level. So <laughs> this interview is going to be funny. So there we go. Let's get that way. <laughs> So we are here for Cinderella. I'm so excited. It comes to Manchester on the 6th of December. Is it the 6th? 8th. The 8th. 8th. Right, I'm an idiot. Yes. It's, the, it's the 8th to the 30th of December. Mm -hmm. We're really excited. Um, Shannon, tell me a little bit about your character, who you play in, and yeah. Yes, uh, so I am playing Cinderella. Woohoo! Um, and she's, she's kind of just your typical um, girl next door. She's very innocent, quite naive, and she's just, she's looking for love. She's looking for that happy ever after. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, uh, she's so cute. So that'll be, that'll be exciting to play. Oh, really? That's, oh, we can't wait for that. And Hayley? Hi. Hi. Fairy godmother. <laughs> I am, I wow. am the fairy godmother of all pantomimes. <laughs> that's me. I get to wave some magic and be a little bit sassy, so. Technically, my life. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fantastic. <laughs> Haley, tell us what it what was it like when you first heard you got the part? How did you feel? Um, I was a little bit giddy because I was skipping through Covent Garden at the time, uh, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the audition uh, at Kudos head office, and then by the time I got from Kudos head office down to the train station, my agent was mm. like, <gasps> my agent's lovely, but yeah, yeah, it was just it was one of those moments. I was like. Oh wow, okay, I got the part, it's in my hometown, everybody's going to see me, but they don't have to travel far. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yeah, it's right. it's over to me. It's over to me. brilliant, because you're a Manchester girl, you're a, you're a Rochdale, you're from Rochdale originally, yes, so are, both yeah. Manchester ladies, mm -hmm. we're yeah. so happy, it's actually pretty much a northern cast, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it's it is, a northern yeah, cast, I'm yeah. It. it's nice to be here, isn't it, and, and do something in well, it's not technically my hometown, but I class it as. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in great, Manchester. Great, great yeah. Manchester. Manchester. Yeah, like Gareth's from Bradford and Connor is from Liverpool and so is Les. I'm originally from Nottingham, but this is my... I've, I've oh. been Adopted, <laughs> yeah. Adopted Adopt, I'm the same, yeah. I'm from Crewe and this is Manchester's my own town. What yeah. a bad word said against it. <laughs> yeah, I love Manchester. How did it feel when you got your part? Do you know what? It's a pretty similar story, really. Was it? Yeah, I went for my uh, meeting at the Hudos head offices. Um, I met, I had my meeting at like one o'clock and then by the time I was on the train at half two um, I got the call yeah. from my agent and was like yeah oh, amazing. Pretty. and I was like oh my god this is so exciting that I'm on the train so I can't really talk <laughs> <laughs> I was like what are you doing to get home and I was like texting my mum like don't ring me because I'm on the train <laughs> Quiet carriage because I'm always like I booked the quiet carriage if anyone's on the phone like that evil eyes like this is the quiet carriage. No, well, it wasn't, but it was it was oddly silent when it's not normal. No. And was I felt it? like everybody was listening in. Oh, like it was, oh. I was sat at a table seat as well, so I was like, oh, you know, I was like, well, I can't really talk right now, but um, I'll text you. I just want to start like I've got Cinderella. Yeah. Like, looking at the screens, you're like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> awesome moments where you, you really want to tell someone then hug them you need an embrace don't know, you when you get a part especially playing Cinderella like it's it was, such a good part it yeah. was so hard not being able to tell anybody until the press release though so hard because <laughs> yeah it's yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah. <laughs> you just want to scream it from the rooftops and like I'm not to tell everybody yeah and, well <laughs> I didn't tell anyone really, but my mum was just like told people. Oh, that's why I didn't tell them. Just like texting family, like, oh my God, you can't, like, can't wait to see it. And they're like, well, where's all the information? And I was like, mum, no one knows about it yet. Like, it's just like top secret. Yeah, I like, wait, I'll let you know when it's gone out on Twitter, then, you know, we'll oh, celebrate that. Yeah. Amazing. So how does getting a role like this, obviously, because you were on Waterloo Road for a bit and then you were in Coronation Street, mm -hmm. how does like having a role, like playing obviously the lead, in Cinderella and then obviously working like on t in TV how does it differ that role I think for me it's a little bit daunting um doing something like this I mean I have done quite a, done theater in the past and and um, that sort of thing so it's not like I've never done it before yeah but I think it's well, it's, it's Cinderella and I feel like there's sort of expectations of you because it's a role that so many other people have done mm. People might be comparing you to somebody else that's played Cinderella in the past, or yeah. so I suppose it's daunting in that sense and the singing side of it. Um, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, like mm -hmm. put me in, you know in front of a camera and um, with a script, and I'm like, sweet. Um, yeah. I suppose this is like a little bit more. 
out there for me but I'm really excited like it's something something different and yeah and um, yeah I'm just hoping that it goes down well and we're really, like, Ooh, you know rubbish. and it's such a cute part Cinderella like you yeah. have like I saw like I was on Instagram today like looking at the Insta story and I was like oh my god you both look gorgeous <laughs> I was like this is amazing I love your both of your outfits are gorgeous like, I love you, yours Holly really. you're with your beautiful fairy godmother <laughs> that that wand yeah that, that wand is the bone of my life love it wand it flashes this moment no it doesn't <laughs> Oh my god! I'm so glad you didn't bring it because this this interview would have been a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad about that. It's me sat in the corner. It's <laughs> like yes, yeah, right, let's do this. <laughs> um, Haley, you are a really successful singer. Um, you've been all around the world traveling on cruise ships, done private parties. You've you've got an amazing voice, singing some of the best I've heard you sing. The, some of the best divas like Gladys Knight, Whitney Houston, some amazing amazing artist that you can that you can sing you can take after who you were just as good as for oh, me thank you, my darling. so tell me how obviously that that music is such is so beautiful it's so soulful tell me about the music in cinderella because it's a very different genre it's but to pick the um to be quite honest the songs that i've got i've just had a um, a sneaky peek at some of them today actually um and they're some of them are similar to what i've already done in previous shows so what they do with the script here, they look at what you can do, what you've already done in the past, and they adapt it, which is great. They, they introduce things that you've done before, and they, they mould the part to you. That's wow. the great thing about Kudos. They, that it's not necessarily you have to fit that role, they fit the role to you, um, which, wow. is, which is fantastic. So the script changes every year, and then there's a little bit of you in there, rather than wow. just a generic fairy godmother. There's, oh, actually, this, this, this really means something to Hayley, so... Or means something to the, to this the is a soul fairy godmother then. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. I she's, am so she's excited. Full on, she's well for me also is the fact that Beverly Knight played it last year. She's my absolute yeah, Beverly Knight. Yeah. So to watch her do it and then to actually a year later be doing the same part, it was like. Oh, I, I love that. So she, honestly, she's got such a beautiful voice. <laughs> I'm just tearing up. Like. Honestly, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like listen to some of the Whitney stuff and it's just it's so oh, beautiful. Like, like I'm crying you bawling your eyes out like that because <laughs> you have to you do research you see before the interviews but you look at everything that what they've done before and it just came after like millions of youtube videos it's like oh this is great i don't have to read anything i could just watch videos <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm I, like i'm really excited about it obviously i'll be there on the press night so we're we're really excited we can't wait um so what's different do you think about this cinderella to any of the others is it just because you, you you've got an incredible cast a very mm. talented cast yeah have you have you met them before, or has any of you worked them bef worked with them before? Or have you started rehearsals yet? No, no. not till not till next month. Yeah. So right. yeah, so I suppose it was, it was a bit of a meet and greet. Today, yeah, like getting right. to know each other. I've, I've worked with Gareth. Um, we did a charity gig for Martin Hepp. Yeah. Because um, we both went to the same theatre school, and we were yeah. always kind of it, it's all kind of all together. And he teaches uh, another class and stuff like that. But it was kind of. It was one of those events that you're like, hi, hi, bye, bye, because it, yeah. it was that pepped on. So to meet everybody and to, because you kind of like, you, you kind of just do your research going, oh, I've done this, I've done that. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, and you kind of just like, you don't want to kind of completely meet somebody cold. Do, do you know what I mean? If, if that makes yeah. sense. Um, just want to have a yeah. bit of a conversation. But we share a dressing room, haven't we? Oh, really? Yes. Oh, gosh, that's going to be terrible. Gals. That's It's going to be crazy. Door, you share a dressing room with Hayley. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I'm joking. There's going to no. be a lot of habit though that sort of oh, that no, works it'll be, for me. It'll be it'll be lovely. No, I'm sure like the Opera House is such a beautiful venue and like yeah. you're gonna have the press night's gonna be really glamorous because they always make it glamorous here and it's always beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um thank you so much for speaking to me today. Honestly, you. Shannon, you're playing Cinderella and Hayley, you're playing the fairy godmother. We're so excited and we'll see you all on the press night. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>